Extra Minutes. We've been led to believe that this area is cleaned up, that it's all fine, that the oil is gone. Is that the case? The oil, quote, was dispersed as it floated on the surface of the Gulf. And what that did was that sank it into the water column and to the bottom. And that's where it still is. And it washes on shore from those locations. What is in the water? What is in the air that is making people sick there? Uh, it's a combination of chemicals, things like benzoapyrene, phenanthrene, naphthalene, that are making the people extremely, extremely ill. The toxins as a result of the BP spill that are still in the water are the polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons, which are the component that is very persistent in the environment that was contained in the BP crude, which is Louisiana sweet crude. And also there's still some minor residual concentrations of dispersant in some of the um, crude that's sort of contained so that it, it hasn't been able to degrade. They all sound dangerous. Are they toxic? The polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons, as well as a lot of the components of the core exit, which is the dispersant, are known and suspected to cause cancer. They cause a whole host of acute impacts and chronic impacts. So the people that are still being exposed and have been exposed are suffering from very critical situation. And again, the exposure is still going on. So when they go down to the coastal areas and the marshes, they become exposed again. Does Corexit contain cancer-causing agents? Corexit contains chemicals that are suspected to cause cancer. But when you look at how Corexit is used in conjunction with the BP crude oil, it allows a lot of the chemicals in the crude oil to become much more readily available to both humans and the environment. And so things like benzene, known to cause leukemia specifically in children, doesn't take like a 20-year exposure to result in cancer. So what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of leukemias. We're seeing a lot of neurological damage as a result of the core exit in combination with the BP crude. And the neurological damage is there for the rest of the livelihood of the people who were exposed. What do you think BP got away with here? BP got away with contaminating the Gulf of Mexico, the marshes and estuary systems, beaches, and most importantly, they got away with contaminating the communities in the coastal areas.